the most recognizable faces in the UFC. Michael the Count Bisping is back home for what he has labeled as a bucket list fight against a legend. In true Bisping style, he has whipped up the war of words as this fight grew closer, and it sounds like he has done everything to make sure he gives his career best performance and topples the former champion here in London in front of his adoring fans. The main event of the evening, Michael Bisping versus Anderson Silva. So it's been a long eight week camp, but it's been a good camp. Last hard session today. Very excited to get it finished. Get on the plane to England tomorrow. That means the fun starts. I'm undefeated in the United Kingdom. So I'm very excited to fight back in England again. Hopefully continue the trend of remaining undefeated on UK soil. It's a tough test. Obviously Anderson Silva is um, he's a legend. One of the greatest of all time, of course. But I feel I'm ready. And I feel like now is my time to beat Anderson Silva and hopefully get a title shot. I know I'm good enough, believe you me. The way I've performed in this camp, I don't see Anderson having, having any answer for it. I really don't. I don't see what he's going to do. I'm better in the wrestling, I'm a better striker, I'm younger, I'm stronger, I'm fitter. So, this is my fight, believe you me. Nice. Don't get bigger than this in London. Fascinating battle for range right now. This being back in Anderson up to the fence. Very nicely indeed. Silver looking to embrace the Counts, having absolutely none of that. I'm not coming for fun again. I've dedicated my life to this. My entire life was built to this moment. This is the biggest fight of my life, and I've, I've trained accordingly. I've done everything I can. I've left no stone unturned, and I'm taking no prisoners. I'm not in there to make friends and put on a good performance, but we'll still be nice about it. I'm in there to destroy this guy, drag him into deep water, and, and put him through an experience that he wants to end the moment it starts. I'm going to make it very, very uncomfortable for him in there. Straight back into it then, Dan. Round number two. It's been pushing him back against the fence, trying to get him over his heels. This is a fight that I've won for a long time, obviously. Silver seems happy to be fighting on the retreat. He's a legend, you know, and I always had respect for him. Confidence beaming out of Anderson Silva. It's about how much you want it, and I wanted this fight. I, I really did. This was everything to me. Oh, and again. Oh. Good defensive work at the end there from Anderson Silva to stay in the contest. Yeah, I came out eight days before. Just wanted to acclimate, hopefully get adjusted to the time zone, getting ready to kick ass. So these guys, my good team members, have never been to London. I'm going to take them out, show them the sights, wow them with the brilliance that is London, the architecture, the history that these Americans have never seen before. I'm going to blow their minds into the stratosphere, give them the tour guide, get some lunch, and generally have a nice day. Relax right now, relax. Relax. All right, hey, listen, you're doing really well, all right? A good place to be for Michael Bisping, moving into the third round. This, Dan, is not disappointing the crowds here in London. Not at all, not at all. This is a, a fantastic uh, contest between two really talented strikers. Oh, another good jab from Michael Bisping. Michael doing a great job, though, of, of staying out of danger. I mean, I know he's on the back foot right now, but he's landing good shots as he's moving. He's been trying to fight his way off of defence. Here comes the onslaught of Anderson Silva. Michael lost his mouth guard, but Anderson Silva does not care. He's pushing forward in typical Anderson Silva style. There's the tight pitch. The fight is not over. 
job of mouthpiece. I know there needs to be a break in the action for the stop, to stop and pick up the mouthpiece. There was no action. I was trying to say, Herb, that's my fault. I'm too experienced to make those mistakes, and Anderson capitalised, and well done to that guy for that. Anderson Silver is convinced that this fight is over, but Herb Dean is saying it's not. I felt fine, and then when the round stopped, I wasn't sure, you know, I, I wasn't sure what had happened. I was like, no, please, please don't tell me that this is over. I, I'm fine. I, of course, wanted to get back in there. It, uh, whilst I have a breath in my body, I will always continue trying to fight. Michael Bisping does not look himself. He looks dazed, he looks confused. Anderson Silva thought that fight was won and he was already celebrating. Fortunately, it wasn't the end. Is that too much with the no, shades? Nothing. I don't want to look like Conor McGregor. Oh, not want... that Conor McGregor looks cool, but I'm not Conor McGregor. Welcome. You're always excited to compete in the UFC, of course. Back in London, you know, this is my home country and London's the nation's capital. The O2 Arena, in front of my home people, I was super excited. But it's a fight that I wanted for so long. It's a fight that I can, I think if I win this, you know, when I win this. Uh, there's only two people in the UFC to ever beat him, me being one of them. Um, I think he puts me in line for a title shot. And of course, he's a legend, you know? Tough test for me, but one that I believe I will prevail in. But nothing's greater than the pressure I put on myself. I have to win this fight. This is an, a, a no-lose situation for me. I have to win. You know, I'm not getting any younger. I want to fight for the belt. If I lose, this isn't good for my career. I, I can't wait. I'm super excited. Now you've got to expect Anderson Silva to charge forward and try and get this fight won immediately. There's some definite damage to Michael Bisping's nose, but that does not seem to be deterring him at all. He almost seems annoyed at how that last round ended. Bisping forcing Silva's shoulders up against the fence. Michael Bisping is not giving Anderson Silva an inch here. Although Anderson Silva looks like he's playing, Michael Bisping is landing shots here. I have the utmost respect for Anderson Silva. This is the greatest fighter of all time, the things that he did. So for me, this was a personal challenge, it really was. This is the stuff that childhood dreams is made of. You know, fighting in the nation's capital at the O2 Arena, sold out against Anderson Silva. It doesn't get any better than that. And the fight was a war, it was a back and forth battle. He's been focusing very much on his own assault stand. This, this is exactly what we expected Michael Bisping to do. He knows that this is how he wins the fight. A good knee, Michael Bisping pushes him off. That's good shots against Michael Bisping. Superman punch to see out the round. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome. The UFC is back in London. Michael, the Count Bisping. I've always known I could beat Anderson Silva. I always knew I, I was at that level, and this is a chance for me to prove that. 85, 185 pounds for the count. Anderson, the spider, Silva. When I beat Anderson, not if, when I beat this guy, I will be getting my title shot. It's long overdue, and I know I deserve it. Fifth and final round here in London. You know, Anderson Silva and myself, our careers have run parallel for 10 years. I used to stay up till 5 o'clock in the morning every time he fought to watch this guy. Oh, 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 Michael Bisping was wrong, but stays on his feet. And I always wanted to fight him. I always wanted to test him. And that was the pinnacle of my career back then. He was the champion, so of course, I always wanted that. I never look at myself as an inspirational figure. I really don't. I'm just a guy just on a mission trying to take care of my family. Bisping revs up his efforts towards the final bell. Thank you. Everybody here, thank you from the bottom of my heart. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here now. Thank you all.